In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the equilibrium concentration of either a reactant or a product. The first example, or both examples come from A-level papers. The first example is nice and straightforward. The second example um, requires us to think a little bit more carefully about the chemistry. So in this one, we've got a mixture of dinitrogen tetroxide, that's our N2O4 nitrogen dioxide, sealed into a gas syringe allowed to come to equilibrium. We are given the equilibrium concentration of NO2, so we know that. We know a value for the equilibrium constant, Kc, and we've been asked to calculate the concentration of the N2O4. Writing all over exam questions is a really good way of making sure that you know which bits of information you need, what you're trying to find out. So that's a good exam tip, tip tactic. So let's start by writing our expression for Kc. So it's products over reactants. So it's going to be NO2 gas. Remember to include state symbols raised to the power of 2 because we have 2 moles of product over N2O4 gas. We know that this is 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3. And obviously that's going to be squared. And we know that Kc is 1.06 times 10 to the minus 5. And N2O4 is our unknown concentration, so we're going to call him x. So if we plug that in, we've got 1.06 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3 to the power of 2 divided by x, and that is quite straightforward to rearrange. x is going to equal 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3 squared over 1.06 times 10 to the minus 5. And when you plug that into your calculator, it comes out at 0 0.323. And this is simply a concentration mole per decimeter cubed. And that seems like a really sensible concentration for this chemical reaction. Moving on to our second example. Now, at the first read through, this seems to be exactly the same as the question we've just looked at. But when we dig down, we're missing all sorts of information. So let's see what we've got. We're starting off with an equimolar mixture of ethanoic acid and ethanol. What does that mean? It means the equimolar we started off with the same number of moles of ethanoic acid and ethanol. It doesn't matter what that number actually is, we just need to know that we started with the same amount because they react in a one-to-one -one ratio. At equilibrium, the concentration of ethanoic acid was found to be 0.820 mole per decimeter cubed. So, um, at equilibrium, I know the concentration of the ethanoic acid, and I want to find the concentration of the ester ethyl ethanoate. Let's start to pull this apart. Let's write out our expression for Kc. Kc equals products over reactants, so that's CH3, CO2, C2H5, square brackets, H2O liquid square brackets over our reactants, which are the ethanoic acid. And the ethanol. I know my equilibrium concentration of ethanoic acid, 0 0.820 mole per decimeter cubed. I know my value for Kc. It's 4.0. I'm trying to find the equilibrium concentration of the ester, um, but I don't seem to know the equilibrium concentration of the water or the ethanol. So how on earth do we figure that out? Well, we know that, and this bit is really key, ethanoic acid and ethanol react in a one 
to 1 molar ratio. I know that I started with the same number of moles of each. So regardless of how much I started with, if I end up with a concentration of ethanoic acid of 0.820 mol per decimeter cubed, I must also end up with a concentration of ethanol of 0.820 mol per decimeter cubed. Similarly, my products are formed in a one-to-one -one ratio, one mole of ester for one mole of water. So however many moles of the ester I've got, I've got the same number of moles of water. It's the same number, or in this case, the same letter. So both of those can be x. Now, I have got enough information to solve this problem because I know that 4.00 kc is going to equal x squared over 0 0.820 times itself squared. If I square root each side, so square root that side, square root that side, I would have 2 equals x over 0 0.820. I can rearrange so that x equals 2 times 0 0.820, which equals 1.64 mole per decimeter cubed. This seems entirely reasonable as an answer. It is the correct answer because I know that my equilibrium constant is 4. It's greater than 1. So the concentration of my products must be quite a lot bigger than the concentration of my reactants. And 1.64 is quite a lot bigger than 0 0.820. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the blurb below, it will take you straight to the Crunch Chemistry School, where you'll find all the resources you need to get that A-star grade at A-level. Together, we can do this.